Doink, 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 doink. It sounded like stones bouncing off something metal. I jumped up from my nap and ran outside. That's when I saw Barbara's brand new shiny green barbecue being pelted by rocks. Dozens of them. They were coming from the tomato patch. Doink, 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 doink. I ran as fast as I could toward the patch and took a couple of hits myself. That's where I found two clumps of grass hurling pebbles at the back deck. What are you doing? I yelled. I grabbed the bag of rocks with my teeth and dragged it away from them. And then I tripped over an old green shoe. Calm down. What on earth is wrong with you? I asked. Poppy and Sweetie looked like they had spent out by, been spit out by the lawnmower. Sugar came running across the yard with the hose. We're coming for you, Mom. We won't let the aliens take you. She aimed the hose directly at the front of the giant round barbecue. The water came out fast and hard and quickly knocked it over. Give me back my mother, you chicken-stealing aliens. The back door swung open with a giant squeak. The chicks all lay down flat in the grass. Excellent camouflage, I noticed. I t high tilted out of there. Dumb squirrel was standing right in the middle of it all, frozen. Poor kid stuck out like a dumb squirrel. Barbara ran out of the house. Her brand new green barbecue grill was on the ground, surrounded by hot dogs and smoking charcoal. You pes pesky squirrel, she hollered. Get out of here. She picked up the hose, gave Tell a good spray. The water exposed the chicks in the grass, too. But Barbara was too distracted by the small fire that was threatening her potted begonias. As soon as Barbara's back was turned, I tossed the chicken squad and a couple of hot dogs into the shoe and carried it back to the coop. The dumb wet squirrel was right behind us. Hot dogs, said Sugar. Of course, the aliens weren't here for chickens. They were after the hot dogs. Everybody loves hot dogs, said Poppy, but I'm not sure a hot dog would make a very good pet. It's food, Poppy, said Sugar. The aliens were after food. Good thing we stopped them. Look how many they stole. They filled up their whole spaceship with hot dogs. Sugar tossed one to the wet squirrel. Thanks for your help, Tail. What happens to the aliens now? asked Tail. Their ship is down for good. They'll send another one invisible next time to avoid our detection. They'll rescue their friends and take off. They won't be back. Not after what we did to them. You're safe, kid. We're all safe now. And we thought they were here for us, Poppy laughed, like anybody would eat a chicken. Well, they are from outer space, said Sugar. Who knows what kind of crazy stuff they eat out there. What's with the shoe, I asked. There's nobody left to watch it, said Poppy. I licked it and rolled it, said Sweetie proudly, just like Sugar said. Ooh, said Tail. Excellent work, Sweetie, said Dirt. Moosh walked in the chicken coop with fresh flowers from her garden. The chicken squad surrounded her with a big, enormous, and huge chicken squad hug. Is that the dead squirrel? she asked, looking at Tail. No, said Tail. I'm the brave squirrel. You sure are, kid, said Sugar. You sure are. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, J.J., you travel the world, seen it all. Don't you know a barbecue when you see one? Sure, kid. I know a barbecue. Every dog knows a barbecue. Best smell in the world. But why tell the chicken squad? They're always looking for something to do. It keeps them out of my hair. Plus, Tell finally learned his shape, see? Everybody wins when you let them find their own way. And let's not mention the eating the chicken thing, right? They may act tough, but I don't think they'd take it very well. <laughs>